ladies and lads, this is Civic Dude, and welcome back to Hypermine, everyone. Yes, perched on a ledge. This is the vanilla series. Whoa, that's close. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, guys, we are back on Hypermine Vanilla, and uh, look how the base is coming along. I added a, a a little bridgeway room over here. I'm really excited about. That's pretty much where we're gonna spend most of this episode, if not all of it. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool. It uh, adds a, I don't know, a, a dimension to the base that I think is just really cool. And uh, so it, it just stands out, I think. And uh, I like how he added the little white corner things, arrow deals. Um, they just look pretty cool to me. Um, so let's get in there and talk about what we're going to do. Um, I wanted to use this episode to talk about and go over how we're going to build our storage room. Um, we're probably not going to totally finalize it because I'm not totally sure yet about how I want to do some things with it, but uh, we're going to at least get the concept down. And then uh, the concept that I'm going to use, like, we can probably, or we're going to make it to where we can uh, modularize it and so we can add to it and, uh, you know, just make more and more pieces of it. So, um, oh look, I've been adding to my bookcases. Uh, let's go, let's go in here and look at this uh, room now. So I've added, like I said, a bridgeway in here. Um, to the room to join the two cubes together. You can see uh, it's it's still in the in the uh, construction phase a little bit. Um, we still haven't quite trimmed out everything yet, but it's it's coming along for sure. And uh, you can see how it's it's uh, actually forms a pretty nice symmetrical shape. Um, yeah, looking at like looking like that. It looks pretty cool. Um, what we want to do the idea here is that the mine is back in here, and uh, we're probably going to have the mine, uh, I'm probably going to move the drop shaft to be in center with this chest so you can just walk down here and then drop. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to install a woolly, uh, one of the woolly vaders uh, with the, uh, uh, what do you call it, with the mine carts that just go up and down with the piston, sticky pistons and uh, that's probably what we're going to end up doing in the in the future state but for now it's just a water drop um, and then a ladder back up to the top. But the idea is that you then get, you get done with your mining you come back to the top here and you drop all your items into a chest here. And then below, you can see your deposit items here and then the sorting below. So below then, in this, this big space down here is where all the magic happens. So it may not take this whole space up, but it's going to take up a lot of it, I'm thinking. And what's going to happen down here is um, items that can be smelted. So gold and coal, or uh, gold and iron. Gold and iron, I think, are the only ones from mining that uh, you would immediately need to smelt and then uh, to support the smelting you would need to coal also so that means that any coal gold or iron that you put in the top is going to siphon or not siphon but immediately be redirected apart from the main line the main sorting line to a an alternate line that smelts it and once it is smelted it will then join back up with the main sorting line and go sorted go be sorted into the, its appropriate chest so that part's going to be in an, in an adjacent room um, back over here. Um, my thought is that um, with the with the cool woolly vader, we'll be able to have that as like a center column piece. Um, you know, back in here, probably um, right around. Let's just say right around here, and then uh, farther down, you know, back on um, uh, not this level, but a few blocks down. Uh, would be you know where you would see your sorted items in chests kind of surrounding that column. I think that would look really cool, and uh, I think I think we can figure out a way to do it. But uh, what I wanted to show you here is is something that I learned um, actually on the wiki site. So let's see if I can. I'm going to gather up some materials real quick, and um, we'll go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do one of these auto smelting um, setups, and uh, we'll we'll see what we can do with that. So give me one second to get some materials, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. We are just finishing up uh, making some stuff here, and we're gonna need for this. Whoa, what's going on? We're gonna need for this um, some comparators, the comparators. There we go, and some redstone repeaters, and some regular torches and uh, dust. So uh, that's not what I wanted. I want this one. There we go. All right, and I wanted to put these on iron blocks. Do I have those? Yes, I do. Okay, now let's go down here, and we're gonna start putting some stuff together. 
you'll notice that we have snowballs, and those are important. I'll show you why. Okay, now let's get up to the top here. A little bit more. That's probably good. Okay, now what we're going to do is um, use the hoppers and the mechanics of hoppers to sort our items. So one of the cool things about um, uh, what am I trying to say about hoppers is that you can uh, use them uh, to, to sort your items um, through a, through a mechanic where you basically fill up all slots but one with the with a material that you don't care about and the one that you want is uh, what you use what you uh, are going to be sorting against. So let's see if we can show you how this works. Now I want to do it like this so that we have our items go in the chest and then they go straight into this other chest and this other chest um, is set up is going to be basically so that we can um, you know send our items down uh, the line that they need to be going on. So let's see if we can do this. I haven't done redstone on camera in a long time so give me a break if it's uh, a little unpolished. <laughs> That's okay though. Whatever. It's fun. It's fun stuff. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now, we are going to... Let's see. We want our items, our smelted items. Let's say we want them going this direction. So that means we're going to put a hopper here, going that way. Like so. Beautiful. And from there, um, we're going to start sending our hoppers down, or our items down, rather. Uh, let's just do it with this one. Okay. Oh, oh, stay up. Don't lose. Don't die. Don't die. But what we want to do is get over here. If we could just place some dirt the way that we want it. Okay, there we go. Now, um, we want our items to basically follow a sorting pattern. And let's see if we can show you. Let me see if I can show you how I'm doing this. Um, so, let's see. I need you. Like that. Oh, blast. And it's one. <laughs> it's too far. Okay. Um, so we'll just do it like that. That. And down one more. And then over like that. No, that wasn't it. Okay. So Hopper is going to be facing this direction. Like so. And then immediately below it is another one facing the other direction. like that, I believe. And then, let's see, that gets torch like this. And then over here, we need a piece of dust. And let's go ahead and get all these repeaters in place. Okay, so dust there, and then where's my building blocks? Block of iron. Okay, so we have a comparator that needs to go up there. Like that, facing out or into the hopper, whichever way you want to think of it. Oh, shoot, it's going too high. Isn't it? Yep. That's one block too high. There we go. So that goes there. And then just like so. We have that there. And then dust there. And then below here is a repeater. Like that. So that when an item is in here, it turns on the comparator. 
And then when there's enough of them, it'll turn on the second strand, second piece of dust, which then powers the repeater, which turns off the torch, which allows this item to go through. Which means that if we put a chest uh, right here, and we use our snowballs, three, four, you can see that we have four, or rather one piece of dust that is lit. But if we add one more item, rather, one more, five snowballs and one more item. No? How many is it? Ah, too many. So, five snowballs, our sorting item, and then we need one in here, and then we add one more. Uh, that's supposed to... Why isn't that working? I thought it was five snowballs. Uh, keeps taking too many. Hmm. Let's see. So, for full stack... Okay. That was odd. You just saw it did that. It took one out. For um, a full stack of items that hold 64, the magic number is 22. And that's roughly a third, just over a third, of the items in that stack. Snowballs hold 16 in a stack, so a third of that would be 5, or 6 maybe. Let's try 6. Ah, it keeps taking it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. If we do that, add another one, add another one. Okay, so that time it just took it. Let's let's do something we have a lot of. Okay, so it's doing it now, but that doesn't seem right. It seems like it should be um oh, gosh. Seems like it should just be. Hmm. Why is this not the way that I think it should be? I would think that if you have two right here, it would take one. No. See, it keeps taking two. That's just weird. I'll have to look up why it's why it's taking up so many. But um, we know that four, one, and then there, like that, it works. So you keep adding, and it keeps taking away, like so. So that's good. That means it'll filter into our, uh, basically, our, our furnace over here. So that's good. Um, and then this uh, little stack thing is, is uh, fairly repeatable. So we can just do this again. So this one, let's say, is for the, for the uh, what you call it. Um, What am I trying to say? Gold or iron. Yeah. Could be for one of those. Um, and what we're going to want to do is actually, let me think. We kind of did this wrong, to be fair. Because, And the reason for that is because we have our, our we don't have a way to get our non-furnished items out of the line. Or do we? I guess, since that's our sorting one, I guess what we could do is, um, since hoppers will uh, try and spit items down if they can first, regardless of what direction they're facing. So for instance, if we put, rather, if we put a, uh, another hopper here, But not face it in. Let's uh, let's do this the right way. Let's get a chest. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll try and throw cobblestone. You'll notice that it doesn't go in the chest, but rather it goes down here and ends up down in this chest. So there's four there now. If we add another one, it should be five. So that's how that works. And so what we'll do then is have one more of these modular things like this. 
and I hear an Enderman in my base somewhere. Um, we'll have one more of these inside, or rather on this side of it, so that um, where is this guy's button? So that uh, we can get the gold out, and then we'll need one more, a third one for um, coal. So we have to get coal out also, so we can fill in the furnace with it. Um, but after that, then uh, everything else can just start going um, off to uh, be sorted. So that's that's pretty good. So let's do this, and then we're gonna throw another one. Um, let's do it this way. So we'll have. Yeah, we'll have. No, no, no. Oh, there you are. <laughs> He's down there. Um, I want the gold and, and iron to go into this area so they go down into a furnace down here. Um, but, oh geez, we'll probably bring it out one, so uh, we'll do something something like. Do, 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 something like this, and then take it out. Like that. That way that we don't have we don't have any interference from uh, the torches, the redstone torches, right there, um, in, in interfering with our uh, our furnaces. So that's good there. And then uh, building on this one again, we will just simply do, 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 place our things. That's a repeater. I don't want that right now. I want the comparator. Can I get over here? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay, so then we'll need to face that hopper into it like that. And then uh, we're going to have to somehow get back over there for a repeater. Just like so. There. Now we've got a second one in place. And we simply need to fill it with five snowballs. And uh, we'll get our gold whenever we have. I don't actually have any unsmelted gold or iron blocks at the moment. So we're going to have to um, figure out how, uh, rather, go mining to get some of that stuff um, before we can uh, finish everything up here. Um, but we can at least continue on with our, uh, our setup here. So let's get that back. And then uh, we'll continue on that, that hopper line, just like so. Beautiful. Now, now we're looking pretty good. So we've got gold and iron. We need one more for coal. And then uh, from there, we'll, I think we'll cut it at this episode. We'll finish up the rest of this in the next episode. Because I don't want to make this episode too long just trying to do this, uh, this smelting stuff and uh, sorting everything. Because this, this is a fairly advanced piece of technology, although it is just using a regular... Um, regular mechanics as far as uh, Minecraft goes. Oh, I don't have any more torches. Okay, so let's go get... I need another torch and another comparator. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and take care of this Enderman. Be gone with you. Be gone with you. There we go. And we'll get back up there and start a little process. I don't have any ladders. It's okay. I don't need no stinking ladders. Okay. Now we've got our comparator. And throw that down. We've got our torch. Throw that down. We've already got our repeater over there. I can see it. And so, uh, what do we need? Hoppers. Yes. One going that way. And uh, let's see. One going the other way. Just like so. Now, do we have a furnace. We have a furnace. Okay, so our furnace is going to go just like this right there. And we need to get, so this brings the items into the top of the furnace. So um, you can imagine we add another piece of cobblestone. It's going to make its way all the way down into the top of the furnace, just like that. Now when you get our coal in place, and you have to do that from the side, 
of the furnace. So we'll do it just like this. Bring it around and then up. Yeah, just like that. And over here, we need more snowballs. So five, six. And then for coal, uh, we need more than that. Unless I have my fortune, I don't. Okay, so let's go get some coal because I do have that on hand. And then uh, we will send over here. We'll send that on its way. Okay. Now we'll fill up our uh, fortune before we do that. We're going to continue on our, our line so we can finish our sorting, or continue our sorting rather, over here. Or we might just drop it straight down and then do it underneath so we don't expose too much. Don't want to expose too much to the outside world here. All right. Um, so up here, this is our sorting one. We don't need a hopper in there. We do need some coal, though. Okay. So now we can see it's already starting to work. It's already starting to smelt something. It's filling up coal um, just like it should. There we go. And so, um, yeah, now instead of uh, cobblestone, I'll just go ahead and throw some in here to start showing you how it's going to work. Um, but instead of cobblestone, just imagine this is gold or iron, and uh, you know it's going to it's going to start funneling in here and building up and uh, auto smelting. And then once it's done, it'll eject on the bottom. So then we'll we'll uh, extract it from below and join it up with the rest of our our main sorting line so that items get sorted. Now that part's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to try and do a, uh, a, a dropper onto a... Um, well, I'm, I'm going to try and incorporate some kind of ice flow just because I've always seen those used and they're really cool and I've never actually used one before. Um, but i got to figure out exactly the logistics of that and how and where that would make sense to do that. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and clean up this and uh, we'll go ahead and finish off this episode. But um, this is pretty much the format, the formula, the design we're going to use for our entire sorting system. And uh, I haven't decided yet. I don't think I'm going to put like food and things like that over here. This is just going to be for items that I would uh, normally find in my um, mining adventures. You know, while I'm underground mining. Um, so it would be things like you know dirt, sand, gravel, um, all the ores, um, obsidian. You know, things like that. I don't think I'm gonna put mob drops in this um, in this sorter, just because it doesn't really make sense. Um, I might I might have like a chest on the other side of the base that is for non mining things, and then it would do a similar sorting system and meet together in the middle for its storage. Um, but this is essentially the format we're gonna use um, for our sorting and our auto smelting. And uh, you know you can see here that uh, this is pretty cool. I think it'd be really cool if we had a way to connect up a redstone lamp to the furnace so that whenever it's running you would see a light and you would know that it's running. Um, I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to use a comparator to do that. Um, I don't have another one on. Let's go. Actually, I'm really curious. Let's go see if that works real quick. Um, just because I want to know. And then we'll call it a quick episode um, after that point. So I need one more piece of quartz. Right, well, we've only got a stack left of that stuff. And some more sticks to make more torches. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and I don't have any stone. Which is ironic because I should have a bunch from uh, smelting it up. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. All right, and I might even throw um, cobblestone um, into the into the sorting as well, because that kind of makes sense. You mine up a lot of stuff, a lot of stone whenever you're down in the mines. Okay, now the idea is that my thought, at least, while this thing is smelting, it puts out a comparator signal. That's my thought, at least. I'm hoping I'm right. Let's just see. Do you? Yes, you do. Okay, so perfect. So that means while there's stuff in here, 
Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I just totally screwed. Wait, why does it have snowballs? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it probably grabbed these from over here. Yeah. Um, okay, so while the fire is going is when the because you just saw it turn off. So while the fire is going, there is a signal, so that's good to know. Um, so that means that we can then use that to our advantage to hook up to a repeater and then power a lamp over there somewhere. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, idea created, generated, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm really excited about this, this sorting thing. I've never done one of these before, and it looks really fun. And I think it's going to be awesome to have some automation um, into this space. So anytime you can add automation in vanilla, it's just amazing. So with that, guys, I want to uh, thank you for joining us for this episode. It's been really good. I'm sorry if it was a little long-winded, um, but I did want to get this set up, at least in, uh, in, in uh, a, uh, a working model, so we can show you how the sorting will work. And uh, then we can go ahead and off camera and do all the, all the heavy lifting. <laughs> uh, and we'll take a look at it in a more completed state as well as the sorting for storage in the next episode. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you for joining me. And I want to say, uh, again, thank you. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.